Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Thank you for joining me here today. If you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. If you've been here for a while, thank you so much for your viewership and your loyalty. Mwah. So today we have a very exciting video. Wanna know why? Because I'm working with a baby bear. That's right, a 17 week old baby bear came into our facility. It's not dog training anymore, people. It's bear training. I'm kidding, no, but seriously, we have a 17, 18 week old chow coming in. Cutest thing of all time. Well, this kind of brings me back to the foundation of the leash and what it means to a dog, what it should mean to a dog. And the leash introduction is crucial to create a good relationship, a clarity into the relationship. Something that means, hey, good job, bad job, etc. Teaching the dog new behaviors all starts with the leash. As you guys know, when I'm dealing with behavior modification stuff, there's so many complexities. Usually the dogs have worked with other trainers and there's a lot going on within the room and it could be dangerous and all of that fun stuff usually goes into the sessions I primarily do. And so with that being said, I have to use different tools, use different technologies, different, just, just being creative to, to change it up, to make it successful and to make it pleasant for the dog and the experience within training. And so in this session, all I have for tools is my voice and a piece of rope. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys because again, it gets me back to my roots of just working with an animal on a leash and figuring stuff out. And I personally love doing this type of stuff. And so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you haven't yet, don't forget, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your little notification bell so you don't miss anything. All right, guys, my name's Tom. I'm going to be helping you out today. Yes, we've yeah, seen you we've many times on YouTube. Cool. Over and over. Cool. And what's First, his name? His name is Moby. 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 We named him Moby Dick because when he was the last one coming out, the breeder said he was biting everybody. He was like, <laughs> really? So let's today, let's go over basic leash pressure. Okay. So the foundation of the training that we're going to be doing is going to be leash pressure involved. So that's going to be your your yes and your no, your good and your bad. Okay. So we're gonna teach him how to understand the principles of leash pressure. Awesome. Yep, and then from there we'll be able to teach him whatever we want. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Cool. Yes. We'll switch over just to a regular leash here. And we'll see how he does. You guys can actually have a seat. And I'm gonna do some of this work now. And again, just teaching him a pressure release system, leash pressure, whatever you want to call it. The point is, is I want him to understand that when the pressure comes on to the dog, that they should be changing their behavior. All right, so that leash pressure I was telling you about, shake it off, dude. He's going to come out. Moby, come. Pressure. Pressure. Yes. Yes, good job. Well done. So you see that application of pressure? He kind of bucked a couple times. That's a little bit of pushback, like, I don't want to, that's all. And then once he realized he turned to me, pressure shut off, and I rewarded him verbally. So I added positive reinforcement over the stuff I wanted. Um, because he's not going to be motivated by anything, we're going to have to do like traditional style of um, teaching him leash pressure. So we're just going to go this way. Good. Moby, come. Good. Good job. Good job, buddy. Come. Good job, bud. Good. Moby, come. Moby, come. Yes. Good job. Good job. Come. Good. Good. Moby, come. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Yes. Good. Well done. So we got full commitment there off the verbal. So I didn't have to give him any pressure with the leash. I was. Yep, so, so he's escaping the pressure from the remote via compliance. <laughs> so I'm saying, hey, come. He's like, yep, sure. Or the remote. I'm so used to saying remote. The, co the, uh, the leash. Good. Okay, let's go. Good. Moby, come. Yes, good boy. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, good boy. Good job, buddy. All I'm doing at the end. Moby, come. Yes, good boy, good come, good boy, 
That was so good. So what, what happens is, is when he gets to the end of the leash, he goes, hey, yeah. what, why is it stuck? <laughs> and then he comes to me and then boom, everything happens really great for him. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm going to do it again. Well, we come. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, good boy. Wonderful job, buddy. Good. So this is teaching him two things. It's teaching him leash pressure. So he knows like, hey, when this is on, I, I got to be, oh, okay. Right? But then he's also learning recall, which will become. So two things, which is wonderful. Good job, buddy. Good. So now we're going to take it a step further, and we're going to go back to the heel. So before when I was trying to get in the heel, he was so, I don't like this. Now I'm just going to simply add what we did with the leash pressure just now and apply it to this. So when he feels that pressure, he's like, what do, what do you want me to do? I'm going to say heel, boom. So the heel is going to be walking right next to me on my left side, loose leash. Yep. Will be heel. Good heel. Good heel. Good heel. Wonderful heel, buddy. Wonderful job. Good job, bud. Auto sit. Love it. Good. None. None. So he got... He got one little, he went that way, he felt the pressure, but it wasn't by me, it was by himself. And he goes, oh, we got to do something different, right? So that was cool. So the preliminary stages of teaching him, hey, buddy, if that pressure comes on, come to me. And now he just learned through that. So that leash pressure will be applicable to every other variable in your training. And we're going to do it with place in a minute, too. So I'm going to ask him to place. He's going to go, why is the pressure on? And it's not going to be a lot. Once he gets onto the place, the pressure goes pshh. So I'm going to do this again. Will be heel. Good heel, buddy. Good heel. Wonderful heel. Good heel, Moby. Good heel. Good, Moby, come. Yes, good job. Good. Good, so now we bridge the two, okay? So the two behaviors that he's learning right now, I bridged him. I said, heel. He's like, okay, I, I got this. And I said, come. He's like, oh, I remember that too. So that was good. Good. Do you guys have any questions on that? No. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, Ted? Yes. Oh. So I'm just going to hang out with him because puppies need a lot more breaks than an adult dog. So he's a good boy. Oh, you're being so sweet. Oh, you're being so sweet. He's being so sweet. Good. Moby, sit. Wonderful job. I'll give you food even though you don't want it. <laughs> but the way that I just wanted to kind of make an example is the way he's looking at me. So when, when a dog looks at you like that, we think, take all my food. They're just going, I, did I do it? <laughs> so don't think that he, you need to touch him. Don't think that you need to pay him. Just say, hey, buddy, good job. It's all he's looking for. But because they look at you like that, you automatically go, my love isn't enough. <laughs> heel. So look at my loose leash. Good heel. Moby heel. Yes, buddy. Good heel. Lots of positive reinforcement. Outside turn. Moby heel. Yes, buddy. Outside turn. Moby heel. Nice job. Heel. Wonderful. Good boy. I'm going to do a recall. Moby, come. Come. Yes, good boy. Big man. Good job. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to apply the leash pressure and see if he understands how to shut it off. Okay, just with the leash and the collar. That's it. Moby, place. Yes, good place. Break. Good. So you see how he figured that out? His little mind was spinning there and he's like, what? And then he felt it and he goes, do you want me to do this? And then he jumped on. So that was beautiful. Good. We're going to do it again. And then if he's learning this and we're doing our jobs right, this should get a lot better, a lot faster. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Moby, place. Place. Yes. Good place. Good. Place. Yes. Moby, sit. Good. So see how I use my leash pressure to navigate his behavior with his body. He came off. I put the pressure on. And just like a horse, he goes... Good. And then it goes, whew, and then it released. It doesn't matter where you put 
So we're doing so much, we're doing so much stuff with him right now teaching him the leash pressure, we're teaching him place, we're teaching him come, we're teaching him heal, and we're also teaching him break. So break is a really, really nice command to have in any dog, but it's, it's huge in puppies because you want to be able to teach them how to shut that off. Just say, hey, buddy, good job, break. Just like recess with kids. When we say break, that means he can disengage and we then follow him around within reason, right? So that's going to teach him, okay, you're done. Because we don't want to have a gray area. Are you tired, buddy? We don't want to have that gray area to say, like, hey, he's done it in our head. Yeah. And then he gets off, and we're like, hey, good job. Because then he's made the decision to say, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? So we have the control. Yeah. It's like, hey, buddy, do your homework. Yeah. Does one problem and then walks away. Yeah. You're like, yeah. well, he's then, he, not only is he not doing his homework, yeah. but he's then learned that if he just wants to stop doing something, he just yeah. walks away because you didn't say anything. So we're going to teach him that. So I'm going to use my leash pressure that we've developed to teach him what break is and all that stuff. So we're going to collaborate all this together. And he's not going to learn break right now or tomorrow, but over time, like when I tell my dogs to break, they run away from me. They just gas right away from me because they're like, yoo -hoo! Just like I used to do the kickball field in fifth grade. <laughs> Recess! See ya! <laughs> right? But just being able to compartmentalize and decompress and work and pay attention and okay, go to Disney, all that stuff. Yeah. Making sure that you're the gatekeeper. You don't, exactly. wanna, you don't want the dog to say yeah. rather or not, okay, we're gonna go here yeah. and then we're gonna do this because then you have that really lopsided relationship. That's not good. Moby heel, Moby place, yes. Moby sit, good. Okay, break, yay. <laughs> so we actually did four because I did the sit. So we're gonna turn, good heel. Moby place, yes, Moby sit, nice job, buddy. And we get a distraction walking by, he's stimulated, he's excited to see Zach, but he's like, but I think I should do this instead. Hardly, ah, so there, catches him, just pull him right back up, Moby sit, good. And that's, that's important to understand that it wasn't so much like, I don't want you off this, because it doesn't matter but it actually does because I told him, hey buddy, this is what you have to do. You cannot make those decisions because that's the busy road and that's the squirrel. Zach was the squirrel. You're sitting there having a conversation. You say sit and all of a sudden, boom, he takes it, whoop, right? So you have to make sure that if I asked you to sit, it's not because I'm a, I want you to sit and ruin your fun. Like when he got off to see Zach, it's not going to be a big deal if he runs and sees Zach, but out there it will be. So you have to make sure we're consistent with what we're asking. Well done. Very good. So him and I are done. We're good. We're on the same page. So he's, he's where he needs to be with me. So now you guys have to do it. And I would like you guys to, to be consistent with where he's at. So we're going to keep him on our left side. So sit, sit him on the other side. Good. It's okay. Good. Okay, so just to that side of the room and then back. So release your pressure, put your arm down. Good. Yep, you can also choke up on your leash to eliminate that. Place. Now you can give him a little pressure with the leash. Then release. Good place. Make sure, and then, see it's a lot. I make it look a little easier than it is. Let me see it for one second. I want to just show you the timing of what I want you to focus on. And this is, this is very difficult. You're not doing anything wrong. You just don't know how to do it yet. It takes a lot, trust me, it takes a long time. But remember that if, if and when we do need to apply pressure to the dog in any way, shape, or form, we have to make sure if it's verbal, physical, whatever, mm -hmm. body, we have to make sure that when they do the right thing, that we want them to do, mm -hmm. we turn that pressure off. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. So make sure that like if you, ha like right there when you said place and he needed a little pressure, mm -hmm. place and then right when he steps on there, release to let him know that's what I wanted you to do. Okay. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Just gonna, it's not quite as easy. It's timing. Yeah, you, yeah, timing. It's so much. It's yeah. so much. So I'm just going to show you really quickly. Okay. Moby heel. So right there, look at, look at my wrist. Not, like completely off, off. And I'm saying, good heel, buddy. Good heel. I'm going to set him up for success. I'm going to turn. I'm going to go towards the place. Moby place. 
Yes, good place. Pressure, sit, wonderful. So it was one little, when he tried to jump off the other end, just a little, just a little, just almost like a horse backing him up like this. Good. And just letting him know, like, I know you want to get off, but you got to listen to me, buddy. Okay. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, don't forget, like, subscribe to my channel. The best way to support me is do those things. Turn on your notification bell so you don't win, miss, win. You don't miss an opportunity to win some No Bad Dog merch. Again, to win that stuff, all you have to do is leave a comment below within three hours of this video being published. I'm Tom Davis, America's K9 educator. I will talk to you next time. Peace.